Hello, thanks for joining me. What we're going through right now is quite disturbing and it's easy to feel um, troubled, especially when you're isolated in lockdown. Uh, you're seeing the news reports. People begin to worry about their livelihoods and other issues. And it's very easy to feel that this is a, uh, a giant that we're facing, that, the, that our worries sometimes become like a giant uh, threat to life as we know it. There's an account in our Bible of a giant threat. It's a f familiar Sunday school story, but it gives powerful lessons when facing giants at any age. I'm of course referring to David and Goliath in 1 Samuel 17. The Philistines were at war with the Hebrew armies under King Saul. Their champion fighter Goliath came out every day and taunted the armies of Israel. But no Hebrew soldier had dared to face this giant. David, newly anointed but still a boy, was deeply offended by the giant's audacity his mocking challenges of the Hebrew army. He was zealous to defend the, the Lord's name and he'd armed with inferior weapons of a shepherd. But he was, of course, empowered by God. David killed the mighty Goliath. With their hero down, the Philistines scattered in fear. This triumph marked Israel's first victory at the hands of David. Proving his valour, David went on to become Israel's king. Now there's just a couple of life lessons from uh, this encounter for us and I think the first one of course is David's faith in God. It caused him to look at the giant from a totally different perspective than any, everybody else. Goliath, to David, was merely a mortal man defying an all-powerful God. David looked at the battle from God's point of view. If we look at giant problems and impossible situations from God's perspective, we realise that God will fight for us and with us. When we put things in proper perspective, we see more clearly and we can fight more effectively. David chose not to wear the king's armour. It felt cumbersome and unfamiliar. David was comfortable with a simple sling, a weapon he was skilled at using. So here's the second life lesson here. God will use the unique skills he's already placed in your hands. Your skills and talents will be effective in your situations. Just be yourself and use the familiar gifts and talents that God has given you. And he will work miracles through those. <clears throat> the third lesson, when the giant criticised, insulted and threatened, everyone else cowered in fear, but David ran to the battle. He knew that action needed to be taken. And this is all, of course, in spite of discouraging insults and fearful threats. He chose not to shrink away in fear, and there's a lesson for us there as well, that we're not to shrink away in fear. We can shrink away in our homes, and we can have every good reason to do so, but we need to be careful. Are we really staying in God's will? Is there something that we can do? The fourth lesson, only God's opinion mattered to David. So whatever's going on, seek God in these situations. And what does God think? How does God feel? Don't worry about other opinions. The standout moment for, this, uh, for me in this story is David's incredible speech of faith. When you hear this, you know that Goliath is in trouble. So, 
This is a life lesson for us, a final life lesson here, is to address your giant, address your Goliath with your own faith speech. This speech is prophetic. David defeat, declares defeat over Goliath. He tells Goliath, you know this is what's going to happen, mate. Also, David declares feet, defeat over the whole of the Philistine army. As his declaration of faith continues, any fear he had vanishes and his faith grows and grows. So there's the big lesson for us. Let me just read through David's speech to Goliath from 1 Samuel 17:45. David said to the Philistine, You come against me with a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. It's like he's talking to a toddler who's been kicking off on a tantrum. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands. And I'll strike you down and I'll cut off your head. You've got to feel sorry for Goliath here, haven't you? This very day I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals. And the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's. And he will give you, all of you, into our hands. So speak to your Goliath today. And you tell your Goliath exactly where to get off. You tell your Goliath the position from God's perspective. And your Goliath will fall. Hallelujah. Have a great day.